Good morning or afternoon pupils. This is completing two-way tables. Lesson one um, on, well, this, this the, the broader topic is actually probability. So lesson one on probability, we're starting with two-way tables. The lesson objective today is to be able to create and interpret a two-way table. Um, in order to access this lesson, you will need the following equipment. You will need a pen uh, or pencil, a piece of paper, and a ruler to keep your tables neat and tidy. <clears throat> So what are two-way tables? Two-way tables are basically tables that link two variables together. Um, now, what I mean by this is, for example, I might say uh, gender and favorite sport. So I could ask 100 people what their favorite sport are and also uh, whether they're male or female um, or indeed whether they, whether they uh, ascribe to a gender at all. So we'd have three rows for gender male, female, and other, and then would have, I don't know, whichever sports I give them as options. So I might say football, rugby, netball, basketball. So we've got four columns, and we'll have three rows. Um, and then there's a final column and a final row, which would be your totals, okay? So basically, it's a way of linking two variables. Typically, you will get um, a variable that, that something like gender or age, because that's quite a sort of a general one. And then the, the thing that we're interested in, the thing that we're asking about. So in my example, what's your favorite sport? It might be how many siblings you have. It might be which, I don't know, which city do you live in? That sort of thing. Okay, so it shows the frequency which data falls into two different categories. Um, they can be read horizontally or they can be read vertically. Let's take a look at an example uh, now. So some college students were asked to choose which of the three subjects, English, maths or science, they enjoyed the most. Complete the two-way table below. <clears throat> so we have got some information. Some information is missing, but I hope you can see you will be able to work out the missing bits of information. So let's, for example, look at this vertically. I can see English, maths, science and the total. Um, the question hasn't told me how many students were asked altogether, so I haven't got any information from the question that I can add, but looking at the table, I can immediately fill in this box, because if there are 38 pupils altogether that like English, and 20 of them are girls, um, the rest must be boys, according to the table, because there's no third option, so it, the rest have to be in this box. So 38 take away 20 gives me uh, 18. And you can do this pretty much for each of the missing boxes. So again, for maths, I know that 13 girls like maths, 15 boys like maths. So the total, which is currently missing, must be 28. And then uh, again, for girls, go reading, reading uh, horizontally now, there are 20 girls that like English, 13 girls that like maths. I don't know how many girls like science, but I know that the total is 50. So I can work backwards from 50 to work out how many must like science, um, and so on. So 17, 23, 56, 106. We have now got a complete um, table, uh, two-way table. But there are some questions now which I'd like you to answer. So pause the video now and try and answer those three questions. Question one, how many students were asked altogether? Question two, how many girls like science? Question three, how many boys were there altogether? Pause the video now and answer those questions. Okay, so answers to these questions then very clearly. Um, how many students altogether? Well, that's total, total. So the entire total, which is 106 pupils altogether. How many girls like science? Looking at the girls and science, that's this box just here, that's 17. And how many boys were there altogether? Well, that's 18 plus 15 plus 23. I'm reading across here, which is the total 56. Okay, that's the answer to those three. Right, again, here are some for you to do. I'm going to pause the video. Oh, sorry, I'm going to ask you to pause the video now, and I'd like you please to answer, uh, well, fill out all of the missing boxes here. Press play when you're ready to see the answers. There are all the answers there. You can work them out We're going backwards, um, adding up the totals, or using the total and going back to find the... Uh, the missing box. Same job again. Pause the video. Have a go. Please press play when you're ready to see the answers.
there are your four answers there. So 26 out of 34 gives me 60 in total. Eight take away five gives me three left-handed males. And 34 out of five gives me a total of 39 females working at this company. And then finally, the total here, you can either add a cross at the bottom, 29 add 39, or you can add vertically uh, using the totals, 60 add 8, 68. Last one then for you to try yourselves. Please pause the video and have a go. There are your four answers. So we are now going to have a look at how to create a two-way table. So this is typically a question uh, where they've given you some worded information and you're being asked to, to create your own table, um, not just to complete an already, uh, an already started table. So first thing that's crucial is you've got to read all the information. So the question will have a lot of, uh, a lot of data in it. You need to read through it carefully. Make sure you um, have identified what the variables are. So it might be boys and girls. It might be children and adults. It might be left-handed people and right-handed people. It might be, well, it could be anything really. So um, you need to identify what the categories are, okay? So uh, yeah, boys, girls, favorite colors, favorite food, whatever. Set the table out. So this can just be a basic sketch. Um, you can sketch the table uh, on, a, on a blank piece of paper. If you're in an exam, they usually give you a, a fairly you know, large bit of space for this type of question. So there'll be some space for you to draw it out. And then fill in the data that you know. Once you've filled in the numbers they've given you, then you can fill in the missing stuff, okay? So we'll take a look at an example. 90 people were asked whether they preferred soaps, dramas, or crime shows. 12 men said they like dramas, 33 people said they like soaps, and 27 of those were women. 25 people in total liked dramas, and only 10 women liked crime shows. So, I've read the question. I'm now going to try and identify what the categories are. Now, the first line gives me the three categories of show. I've got soaps, dramas, or crime shows. And the second line kind of gives me a big hint as to what those, uh, the, the two, uh, the other category is, which is men and women. So I've got 12 men like dramas, therefore, you know, the rest of the people who like dramas are women. So I'll sketch out my table first. There's my table. I've got men, women, and I've got soaps, drama, and crime. The next step is to plug in the information they've given me. So I already know that there were 90 people in total. So that number there is 90. I already know that 12 men said dramas. Um, 33 in total said soaps. So soaps total is 33. 27 of those were women. So I can put a 27 in there. 25 in total like drama. So I'm going to put 25 down here for drama. And only 10 women liked crime shows. So crime, women, that's 10. So in red is everything the question gives me. Now I'm going to change color to uh, purple. And I am going to fill out the rest of it, which is the stuff that you work out yourself. So I'll start with the soaps and the men. If there are 33 in total who like watching uh, soaps, 27 are women, then that means that it must be 6 that are men, because that now adds up to 33. Similarly for drama, I've got 12 men that like watching dramas, 25 altogether, so 25 take away 12, that must be 13 women who like dramas. Now I'll go across to work out this total over here. 27 add 13 is 40, 40 add 10 is 50. So there are 50 women who were asked in this survey. And then I can work out the total men because 90 altogether, take away 50. That means it must have been 40 men. Final two boxes then are the men who like crime and the total people who like crime. So 6 add 12 is 18. 40 take away 18 is 22. So I know that 22 men liked crime. And lastly, adding vertically, 22 add 10 is 32 in total. So final answer then uh, is on the board. No, sorry, on the slide. So 
Here is one for you to try. I would like you to complete for your own table and complete a table for this information. 56 students asked if they watched tennis yesterday. 20 were boys, 17 girls watched tennis, 13 boys didn't watch tennis. Use this information to create and complete a two-way table. So you're making a table based on this data, reading the question, the categories I've got are uh, watch tennis and not watch tennis and boys and girls. Have a go at that now, please pause the video and have a go at the question. This is what your table should look like. Completing it. That's the information I was given in the question. And then the information you can work out yourself. 7, 24, 36, 19 and 32. That is now a completed two-way table. Okay, final activity then for today. What I'd like you to do is complete all four of these questions. Whatever set you're in, set one or set two, all of you need to complete all of these questions. So um, when you've done that, as usual, take a picture of your answer and upload that onto Clash Charts um, in order to complete today's home learning. Thank you very much, students. Good luck with that.